fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, brought law and order to a lawless frontier. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Junction City! There's going to be trouble! Hell, Silver! Hawaii! Famous masked rider of justice rode slowly to the top of a hill, not far from Junction City. He stopped a moment on the top of the rise, then suddenly urged Silver to his greatest speed. Silver, those horses are going to run away with that wagon. Come on, old fellow. Come on, boy. Come on. Stand away from those horses. You'll be injured. Stand away. Oh, oh, there's Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, there. Oh, I believe they're over there, Fright. It's lucky you staked them when you stopped here. If you hadn't, they'd have gotten away. Well, I... I didn't. My, my father did. Oh? We're, we're going to camp here for the night. He, he took his saddle horse and rode into town for supplies. I see. And what happened here? Well, a, a snake frightened them. Oh, I thought they'd gone crazy. They almost had. They'll need watching for a time. Will your father be back soon? He, he should have been back here an hour ago. I... I don't know what can be keeping him. You're from the East? How could you tell? By the way you dress and talk. Oh. I wouldn't worry about your father if I were you. Junction City is crowded with emigrants. If you've been traveling alone, he's most likely anxious to talk and learn the news. Yes, I suppose. Oh, I I haven't thanked you. It isn't necessary. But if you hadn't come along, I... Never mind, I... mister. What's this? And don't turn around. I've got you covered. One quick move and I'll blow you to glory. Oh, no. Put down that gun, Pa. He... It's all right, daughter. He ain't going to be hard to handle. So you figured on robbing a woman, huh? Well, a skunk that'd try a thing like that ought to be hung. Oh, listen. Quiet, Judy. I'll handle this. Pa, you Quiet, don't... I said. You're too doggone soft-hearted. Reckon you'd like to let me see the polecat go. But he... Well, I ain't. You'll get what's coming to him. And if I try to escape? You heard what I told you. You'll get a bullet where it'll do the most good. Yes. Even if... Huh? Even if I do this? Hey! Oh, oh you 
you hit him. I'm all right. I'll fix you for this. I had his Come arm. In. Come in here and do a thing like there. this. I'll show Stand you. Stand still. You... Don't try a thing like that again. You don't know enough about guns. The next man might drill you. Dirty crook. You made a mistake. I'm not an outlaw in spite of this mess. You low down. Your horses became excited and tried to break loose and run away with your wagon. I saw them and stopped them. And that's the only reason I'm here. If ever I run across you again, I'll... Hey, what was that you said? I rode here just to prevent a runaway. But I... Oh, that was what I was trying to tell you, but you wouldn't listen to me. Honest? Yes, Paul. Oh, golly, and if I'd had the chance, I'd have shot you. But you didn't, so there's no harm done. But Jiminy... Forget it. Well, well, if you say so, but I still... Paul, isn't that your horse? Uh Uh-huh. I left him by them willows when I seen the masked man, so I wouldn't be heard. But, well, I'll go... but where are the supplies? Hmm? Pa, don't tell me you forgot. Supplies? Did I go to town for... Great leaping lizards, I did. Oh, my. Gosh, honey, I reckon buying that town site just drove him out of my head. I declare I clean forgot. <laughs> Gosh, now I'll have to go back and... You, get... you bought what? Huh? Why, the town site. The one that... I... <laughs> Doggone if I ain't the limit today. <laughs> don't know what's the matter with my head. Of course, you don't know about the town side, Judy. How could you? Well, I bought one all right. Anyhow, a lot in one. <laughs> Honey, we're going to make us a right smart piece of money without having to turn a hand. All we have to do is just sit back and watch that lot get more valuable while the town grows. What town? Eureka Grove, stranger. Ever been there? I've never even heard of it. No? <laughs> Well, that's funny. I reckon you don't travel around so much. Oh, it's a real sizable place. The fella says it's already got a couple of churches and a right good school. There's a town hall and an opera house. Uh, Oh, oh, wait a second. Yeah, here's what the fella gave me. See? It it shows how the town's laid out and everything. Look, Judy, that and there's our lot. That and right there. Right in the business section. Pa, how much did you pay? Well, I, uh, weren't cheap. Shucks, you can't expect to pick up land right in the center of the state capital for a song. State capital? Well, stranger, of course, that part of the country is just a territory still. But it'll be made into a state one of these days. And when it is, Eureka Groves is bound to be the capital. Oh, now, see here. Uh, That's the way the fella said the railroad's going to come. And see the river? Deep enough for votes it is. Uh, Fella says they'll be thick as flies come spring. And what's the river called? The Redstone. Are riverboats operating on it now? No, but they will. What's the name of the man who sold you your lot? And where did you meet him? Oh, him and me met up in the cafe back in Junction City. Real nice fella. Right friendly, too. His name's Richter. Richter, huh? Acquainted with him? I've heard the name. Oh. Well, he's in town representing the company that founded Eureka Groves. <laughs> I was lucky. He took a liking to me. Them lots are going lot hotcakes, but... But he let me have mine for half price. Half price? Five hundred dollars. Oh. <laughs> Your old Paul ain't such a bad businessman after all, is he, huh? <laughs> huh? What do you say? Paul, oh, that's almost every dollar we have. Well, you gotta spend money to make money, daughter. <laughs> ain't that right, stranger? Did Richter spend any money on you? Here, Silver. Huh? On me? Why, no. Huh? What do you and that what? isn't an absolute rule. Well, what do you Hip- mean? Adios. Hey, wait. Come on, Silver. Come on. Well, I'll be... Judy, what'd you figure he meant by that? I don't know, but... But, Paul, you shouldn't have spent that much money. You shouldn't have. <laughs> you leave the money in to me, honey, and you go get things ready for traveling. Traveling? Uh-huh. <laughs> Daughter, I'm so anxious to see a good-sized town again. We're starting right now. <laughs> Hold that, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, hold that. Time to get mounted. Yes, Count. What matter? I'm afraid the swindlers are active in this section again, Kimosabe. Oh, that bad. Did you ever hear of a town called Eureka Groves? No. Me not here. No, right, Tato. But I've seen a map of it. And that's where we're going. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Come on, old boy. Come on.
Two weeks later, the Lone Ranger and Toto reached their destination and... So you and the engine are looking for Eureka Groves, huh, stranger? <laughs> yes. Eureka Groves. Oh, golly, that's a good one. Well? You, you didn't buy a town out there, too, did you? I didn't. But you haven't answered my question. <laughs> stranger, if you come from the east, you and the Redskin roll right through it. What's that? <laughs> sure, sure as you're born. You recollect passing three, four kind of measly cottonwoods all in a bunch? I do. Well, them are the grove. <laughs> That's the town. If, if you'd cut over to the south from there and rode a mile or two, you'd found a couple of sod houses. They was built by the only folks around those parts. But the river. The town's supposed to be on a river. Yeah? That's a new wrinkle. Uh, What's it supposed to be called? The Redstone. Huh? What? Oh, oh, the Redstone. (laughs) Stranger, you rode right through that, too. It's before you come to the Cottonwoods. Uh, We not see it. Well, sure not. It's dried up this time of the year. There's water in it all through the spring, though. Almost two inches. In other words, Eureka Groves is just another town site swindle, eh? Mister... That's just what it is. Since I've lived in these parts, I've seen a dozen. Lay out a town on paper, tell folks from the east it's a regular city, and they'll bite every time. They ought to know better, but they don't. Guess there's something about seeing it printed up all fancy that's mighty convincing. Uh huh. You know what this means? Ah. It means that we return to Junction City. Mm, Not good. And there we're calling on a man named Richter. Thanks, old timer. Well, sure. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Silver, away! Another two weeks passed by. Then, late one night, in a small frame office in Junction City. Two men sat at a desk behind doors that were locked and bolted. An overhead lamp shone down from above. The two men were counting and stacking a great pile of gold and silver coins. 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. There, yeah, there. 79. That makes 800. 79. <laughs> Deke, we're going to be rich. Oh, wait a second. You'll make me lose my cunt. Oh. 80. Five, ninety-five, ninety-six, seven, eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. <laughs> you say eight hundred? Uh-huh. Uh, well, that makes nine hundred then. Richter, the Eureka Groves Land Company is doing all right. Give us another month like the last couple and we can sneak out of town and head back east. <laughs> Doggone digits. The folks were selling them lots, too. Who else do you think I meant? Well, I ain't wasting no sympathy on them. <laughs> it's my opinion that when folks don't have any better notion how to handle cash than they got, why, well, it's only right that it ought to be turned over to a couple of fellas like us yeah. or do. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who's that? No, no, I'll see. I ain't gonna get in. Sure not. We got too much cash here. Don't nobody get in this time of night. Can't you see who it is? If they just step into the light, I... What the... Victor's a hold up. What? I went through his mask. Lower the lamp and blow it out. Right. Yeah, there. Listen. Hear that? Crossing the porch. What do we do? Wait. Now then. Now let's see him try to break in. Got your guns out? Uh-huh. What do you have to shut up? Try to rob us, will you? All right, take it. Get him. You hear anything? Uh, nothing at all. And I got him. Come on. We'll see who it was. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you.
Now to continue our story. The sound of gunfire was too common in Junction City to arouse much comment. But a few of the townspeople who were still awake were led by their curiosity to investigate. The sound of their approach, the two men on the porch of the office stepped into the shadows. Hear that, Hunter? Uh, we may not be able to wait. Maybe it'd be better to leave and try again later. No, keep back. Uh, then come out. Right, quiet. All right, whoever you are, I get... Well, I'll be... Deke, there ain't nobody here. You miss? Well, I must have. Now I don't know. I thought You I... gave yourselves away. Well, which is... Don't move. Don't pass. We knew you heard us right up. We knew you'd seen us. When you put out the lamp, we knew you were up to something. Help! Help! It's a hold up! Help! Come Help! Come and get him. Put the horse with him. Huh? Hurry. You come. Hold on your way, fellow. Hold on like your friend and you'll get worse. Now don't shoot. I ain't doing nothing. Into the saddle. Ready, Tuttle? Huh? Me ready. Now let's go. Come on, sir. Get him up, Scott. Come on. Come on. It's a kidnapper. What up was that? Don't fly. You hit Deacon Richter. He was riding the white horse. Come on. Lone Ranger and Tonto did not rein up until they had outgrown the straggling pursuit and had reached a small wood several miles from town. Who? Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, Scott. Oh, 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 what are you going to do with this? What do you want, anyhow? You can't Quiet. Keep... I tell Quiet, you. Quiet, I said. Tonto, I'm going back to town. Uh-huh. You'll guard these fellows until my return. Uh, Tonto, do it. I won't be gone long. Uh-huh. When I get back, be ready to travel. Come on, Silver. Come on. It was almost dawn when the masked man returned to the place where Tonto waited with their prisoners. Dismounting, he lifted two heavy leather sacks from his saddlebags, and then a sheaf of papers. Deke, who had been watching him, shouted to his partner, Hey, Richter! Look there! Huh? He's back to our office. What's that? He's around us. He broke into our safe. That's our cash he's got in them bags. Right. Why, you low down. Careful. You'll pay for this, mister. We'll see to that. You can't rob us and get away with it. We'll get... You'll do nothing. Every dollar I have here was stolen by you from people who believed your lies. Here, Tonto. Take this money and put it back in my saddlebags. I just wanted them to see that I had it. Uh Ah. And I found more than money in your office. What's that you got there? Records of every transaction you made. These records tell the names of the people buying the lots from you. The amounts they paid. I've looked them over. Evidently, you victimized dozens of immigrants. You claim it to be on their side? Justice is going to be done. They're going to get their money back. <laughs> it's a likely story from a mass man. You don't believe me? Stranger, you took that cash from our safe just for one reason. To fill your own pockets. Now, I won't argue the point. <laughs> no, I reckon you won't. You... <laughs> hey? What are you laughing about? You see anything funny in your stealing that cash from us? Deek, You're just getting all excited about nothing. Yeah. This hombre's just trying to run a bluff. I've had it figured ever since I've had time to think it over. <laughs> we ain't got a thing to worry about. Well, I'll be... Richter, you sound like he was out of your head. Yeah? Well, listen a second. Stranger. Yes? You claim you're going to keep that cash now that you've got your hands on it? I told you what's going to become of it. Uh-huh. But you mind answering a few questions? Go on. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, good enough. First off, then, mister, you know of any law that says we can't do like we done? Sell lots in towns that exist only on paper? Uh Uh-huh, that's just what I mean. Yes, there are laws dealing with that. Sure, but I mean laws that you can't get around. You say we've done anything illegal, you're loco. We got a hold of that piece of ground we've called Eureka Groves, all according to law. The legislature let you lay claim to 320 acres anywhere you're a mind to for a town site. You can incorporate and sell shares in it. That's what me and Deke done. You can't point out one place where we stepped outside the law. You misrepresented the property. (laughs) How are you going to prove it? By the maps of the town that you had printed. Yeah? Well, if you'd taken the trouble to look, right down in one corner of them maps, it says that's the way Eureka Groves is going to be. It don't claim that's the way it is now. I think I understand. That's in small print. Sure. (laughs) And you conveniently neglect to point it out to the people who buy. I don't know if anything says we have to point it out. If they can't read or don't read it, that's their bad luck. 
Ain't nothing to us. So that's your game. I call the game's your mind, eh, mister? But like I said, it ain't illegal. Rick, the uh, doggone idiot. What are you arguing the law with a fellow like this for? You think it makes any difference to him? Uh-huh, I do. Because I told you he's bluffing. Yeah. Ain't you figured out yet who this hombre is, Deke? Don't that white horse and this red skin he calls Tonto mean nothing to you at all? They don't savvy. Deke, this gent's the Lone Ranger. What? <laughs> and if folks ain't lied about him, no matter what he thinks is right or what wrong, he don't never go again the law. You... You mean... The only way you'll take our cash is by tricking us out of it. Ah, he won't steal it. And knowing who he is, he's got about as much chance of fooling us now as them crazy emigrants ever getting their money back. <laughs> you sound confident, Richter. Because knowing who you are, your bluff can't work. And I'll tell you something. Yeah? You're right in one thing. I don't intend to step outside the law. I won't take your money from you by force. You see, Deke? Is that what I told you? But those emigrants will get their money back, Richter. What do you mean? Because you'll give it to them willingly. Now into the saddle. We're riding. Hey, riding? Where? To the place where I think we'll find quite a few people anxious to see you. Are you kidding? Eureka Groves. Here, Silver. The stretch of prairie called Eureka Groves had seen the arrival of several score of emigrants during the intervening weeks. Each had expected to find a thriving town. Each was at first stunned by his disappointment, then angry at the deception, but finally resigned to his loss. Old Sam Hutchins was the most downcast of the lot, and... Judy, if ever a man was an idiot, that feller's me. Oh, please don't talk like that. Somebody's got to call me names, don't they? You won't, so it's up to me. If I was able to kick myself, letting that smooth-talking crook take all our cash... You weren't the only one. That ain't no excuse. Besides, I always figured I was just a little smarter than most folks. That makes it just that much worse. Then... Then there's just one thing for us to do. Huh? What's that? Do as we first planned. They got a homestead. There's all kinds of land. Good land, too. We can have a nice place. And after we got our homestead, then what? Why... Why, grow things on it, of course. Yeah? And where's our money for seed? Well, I... And to build us a house and buy a plow and all the other things we'll need. The cash we'd save for that all went to them crooks. Well, there, there must be something we can do. What? I don't know. But... Uh-huh. You don't know and I don't know. And neither does anybody else. We're all stuck here. Can't go back, can't stay, and no use in going ahead. I don't know what's to become of us. It's... Is it really that bad, Paul? <laughs> Maybe worse for all I know, if such a thing is possible. But Paul, Paul, who's that? Huh? Where? Don't you see him on that paint? He just come over the hill. Say, that looks like a redskin. It, it is. Redskins on top of everything else. Well, I'll soon send that fella kiting. Now, where'd I put that shotgun? I don't know what... No, Paul, wait. I, I think he's friendly. Huh? See, he's waving. Well, maybe he's friendly, maybe he ain't. I'll talk to him. But you get back to the wagon, you hear? That's where my shotgun is. If it looks like he was going to make trouble, you use it. Now get. Yes, Paul. Engine, what do you want? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, speak up. I know funny business. Me, me friend. Yeah? You listen, what Tonto say. <laughs> had ridden ahead while the Lone Ranger, Deke, and Richter remained in a small camp not far from Eureka Grove. Several hours passed and the two prisoners grew more and more suspicious. Richter, I don't care what you say about this fellow. He's up to something. I wish I knew what it was. Yeah, so do I. Mister, would you send Tonto? That's my business. What'd you tell him? You'll learn soon enough. But we in want In fact, to... I think you're going to find out right now. Huh? Look at that. What the... Those are some friends of yours. You mean that... The men you tricked and stole from. I told you I wouldn't take your money away from you by force. But I didn't promise not to hand you over to the men you cheated. That's where you sent the engine? Yes. You tell those fellas where we are? Right. Stranger, you ain't gonna let them get us, are you? I will. But you can't. Unless you decide willingly to return their money. No, it's ours. We don't owe them anything. We don't have to give them our cash. Of course you don't. That's entirely up to you. Then let us get out of here. You stay right where you are. But listen to them. 
I hear them. They're, they're mad enough to do most anything. They're my lunches. They might. You can't let them do that. You can't. I brought you here. What happens to you afterwards doesn't concern me. It's the same as murder. Perhaps. And the deals you made with them were the same as robbery. There they are. Don't let them get away, Master Man. Do that. Right up. Bring them up where you are. Jump them closer. Oh, 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 there. Oh, give them oh, them crooks, oh. Mister. We're going to give them what they got coming for. Oh, well, all I'm doing is quiet. Oh, they're going to kill his hangers. Yeah, that's one that's more choice. word out of you, and I'll turn you over to them at once. Well, that's yeah. better. Sam. Well? I know that these men have defrauded you. Perhaps they even deserve hanging. But are you willing to make a bargain? What do you mean, a bargain? They have your money with them. Enough to pay all of you back. If they repay you, let them go with their lives. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know. The skunks don't deserve it. Then you don't get them. You mean after bring them all the way here, you won't hand them over lest we promise not to harm them? Exactly. But golly, stranger, we can't... On the other hand, I will turn them over. They don't agree to give back your money voluntarily. Oh, please, you can't, you don't can't... Don't tell you... me what I can and can't do. Well, Sam... Which is it to be? If you refuse my terms, you'll get neither them nor the money. What do you think, fellas? Well, I'm going to do what the last fellow says, I guess. Well, stranger, looks as if you win. Good. All right, Richter. You heard them. What's your decision? Well, I... We... You uh... want me to release these men from their promise? No, no, don't do that. I didn't mean that. Then? Uh, stranger, what else can we do? If it's a choice between the cash and our hides, we... I reckon we'll have to give him the cash. Sam, we'll keep our word, friend. I know you will. The next time, uh-huh. be careful who you deal with. Yep. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Hello, Silver. Away. Just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>